What's Rocky so excited about? Did you forget? His birthday party is today, and I've got to get some peanut butter bones into the oven pronto. I've got all the ingredients and tools we need. Flour, peanut butter, and this dog bone cookie cutter. Happy B-Day, Rocky. Did you hear that? Peanut butter bones. So sweet. Simmer down, boys. First, we have to take some measurements. Here are some one centimeter tiles we can use to help us measure the length of the cookie cutter. They are called one centimeter tiles because the length of each side is one centimeter. Drag the centimeter tiles to measure the length of the cookie cutter. Awesome sauce! When we measure the length, it's important to make sure that the tiles don't overlap or have gaps between them. About how many centimeters long is the cookie cutter? Right a roo. Hey, PJ, what are those tiles? Oh, those are one-inch tiles. They're just like the one-centimeter tiles, but each side is one inch long instead of one centimeter long. Let's try measuring the cookie cutter with them. Drag the inch tiles to measure the length of the cookie cutter. Sweet! There are no gaps or overlaps, so we measured correctly. About how many inches long is the cookie cutter? Yep! It took five one-centimeter tiles, but only two one-inch tiles, to measure the length of the cookie cutter. Why did it take fewer one-inch tiles than one-centimeter tiles to measure the length of the cookie cutter? One inch is longer than one centimeter. So sweet! One inch is longer than one centimeter. So it takes fewer one inch tiles to measure the length of the same object. Sweeters, I need more gift boxes. Can you run to the store and buy some more? Just make sure they're the same length as this one. Anything for Rocky and his buddies. How long is the box? Let's measure and find out. Click on the tile that it will take more of to measure the length of the box. Well, that was totally math -tacular. One centimeter is shorter than one inch, so it will take more one centimeter tiles than one inch tiles to measure the length of the box. I'm not sure which measurement I'll need to know when I get to the store, so we'd better measure the length using both size tiles. Let's start with the one inch tiles. Drag the inch tiles to measure the length of the gift box. Right a roo. About how many inches long is the gift box? Awesome sauce. 
Now, let's measure the length in centimeters. Drag the centimeter tiles to measure the length of the gift box. Sweet! About how many centimeters long is the gift box? Sweet! The box is about 10 centimeters long. No worries, Rocky. Now that I know the length of the box in inches and in centimeters, I can go to the store. Be back in a flash. I'm back and I'm packing ribbons. I love these shiny ribbons. This one looks about the right length to make a bow for the gift boxes. You measure the length in inches, and I'll use centimeters. Done. I used seven one-inch tiles, so it's about seven inches long. Whoa! How'd you do that so fast? I've only lined up five one-centimeter tiles so far. I wonder, will seven tiles be enough for me, too? Will seven one-centimeter tiles be enough to measure the length of the ribbon? Awesome sauce! One centimeter is shorter than one inch, so it takes more one-centimeter tiles than one-inch tiles to measure the length of the ribbon. That means you'll need more than seven one-centimeter tiles to measure the length of the ribbon. Will you help me finish measuring the length in centimeters? Drag the centimeter tiles to measure the length of the ribbon. Right a roo. About how many centimeters long is the ribbon? Well, that was totally math-tacular. There are eighteen. One centimeter tiles. So the ribbon is about 18 centimeters long. Wow! 18 is a lot more than 7. These dogs are the cutest! And look, someone else brought dog bone treats too. But they're real dog bones. Whoa! That dog is huge. I wonder how tall it is. I put away the tiles, but we could get creative and use the dog bones to measure its height. Okay. But, hmm, which dog bone? Click on the dog bone that we would need more of to measure the height of the dog. Sweet! PJ's treats are shorter than the real dog bones, so it would take more of them to measure the height of the dog. Uh-oh! Looks like Rocky and his pup pals couldn't wait to dig into PJ's pup cakes. Happy birthday, buddy! <laughs>